hello people, and welcome back to part 26 of the build guide 2. We hope you're having a wonderful day. And thank you so much for all support on our live stream. Uh, last week we had a real ton of fun uh, detailing up the slipper of Slanesh, of course, with some uh, classic Slanesh art and some nice little details around our castle. Uh, so we really appreciate all support. We brought like 500 viewers. I'm glad you guys had a nice time hanging out with uh, some of Bad Peanuts' new stadiums. And a really nice space for them, wasn't it? So thank you for hanging out. Indeed, we'll definitely have more of them now. And last episode, we actually hit those population milestones to pop uh, our next downtown tile, which is uh, tremendously exciting, isn't it? Because we now have all this space to begin constructing our downtown road network frame. But in this episode, we're actually going to return to the farms because I want to do a regional airport. I'm going to have some nice ideas today. I've got a vision of my planes flying out over uh, the fields here. So I think that's going to be something quite fun. Um, yeah, so just a cute little regional airport build. Not a massive major terminal, just a single runway. And maybe three to five sort of aircraft stands. Uh, and hopefully a nice entrance using some bus stuff, which we'll see how it turns out. Let's give it a little go, shall we? Let's prepare our area and start building Orchid Bay's regional airport. So the first thing we'll do here is actually get our airport area established. So we're going to come into our district tools. And we'll grab paint airport area out. So of course this will actually level the terrain um, to the height that you start painting out on. Which is a kind of a cool feature of the airport's area. And I want it all to be this particular height here. And please do bear with my voice today. We might have some more editing uh, and time lapsing than normal. Uh, I lost my voice over the Easter weekend. And it's still kind of recovering. So please bear with me if the video seems a little uh, choppier than usual today. Cool, so we'll paint this out. We are going to have to deal with a very harsh um, tile boundary, but the fact of the matter is we just can't do anything with that um, until we hit the tiles. So we're going to have this very harsh cut away. Well, I guess we could just pop 25 tiles today. Maybe, maybe we will. I'll see how much this irritates me come the end. <laughs> but I guess it does kind of look like they've chiseled away this area for uh, sort of an airport, doesn't it? So when we came to build Fields of Golden, uh, we used this road here as an eventual extension, which we didn't know the regional airport was going to sit here at the minute. But I think this is actually going to be a happy little medium for me to line up where I want my runway to go. So that's just going to draw out this big stretch of dirt road here. And then we know that we've come out 10 on that side and 20 this side, so I can delete that now. Then come in and grab my runway. And I think it's always advisable with these airport areas. Uh, we need to shut down a terminal so we can get the runways. There we go. Just uh, delete it after the fact. Uh, we'll decide exactly where that's going later on. Um, but yeah, this is always handy for me uh, to establish our runways. So if we go from here, this should now line up perfectly in the middle. So now we know we came 20 above this one and this one comes down 10. I can hit that next 10 marker. And then this will give me my runway. And let's see, how long are we here? Also, we can get 110 runway in, which we'll have about there, I think. So that's going to sit centrally with my runway here, or my fields at least. Probably going to have to move the wind turbines today. The aviation gang will not be happy with that, I imagine. So we'll definitely have to take it out. And it's also given us a really nice layer against this train line here as well, isn't it? Which is quite exciting. Although this needs to be sorted out a little bit. It's not quite super even, but it's okay. Cool, so we'll definitely have trains coming into the airport as well, although I do believe that they are a level 3 mess of the public transport, which we won't be taking this level 3, but we'll spam down some assets so we can cheese it, basically. And I just want to test the possibility of bringing a tunnel under here. I haven't really tested this before, but it would appear we could tunnel under the runway which gives us a really cool aesthetic doesn't it although i think i'd actually rather prefer that to be um industrial road because its tunnel looks a little nicer kind of has the extractor fans on it doesn't it so why don't we go for that then right we can have a tunnel go directly under our runway and maybe bring that out the other side as to whatever gets built over here that could be quite fun couldn't it or maybe we can hook that into some sort of cargo entrance if we ever expand the regional airport beyond the remit of regional anyway cool so now we've got the runway established that's always really handy for helping to scale our airport so now let's come in with its taxiways again if you are new to the airports dlc links down below to instant gaming if you want to come and play with it and we then want to have all the taxiways at the end of the arrows running out away from the runway otherwise if it's the other way the plane will taxi on and then immediately take off which looks ridiculous so to avoid that happening 
we always have them exit here. If they want to get back on the runway, they must enter at the back of it. Okay, that's pretty much the rule of thumb with these airports, DLC, runways and taxiway systems. That's the end configuration you want to have. Whatever comes off of this is your own design. So we'll bear that in mind. Cool. So that's going to give me a functioning runway and taxi system. So now let's grab ourselves a road and start to piece together our terminal entrance. So we're going to come out of here. Again, I imagine possibly six lane would be welcome here because I want to use a lot of bus lanes uh, getting people back into to the regional airport if at all possible. Uh, we're going to want to do a fair amount of softening on this terrain lip here as well. So I think now just as the build is developing, I do actually want to push that back just a little bit more. I want a touch more breathing room. A little bit too close, so exactly what I'm after. So I'll just use level terrain to achieve that. And then just a quick uh, little run across with soften should just help us ease those new layers in. There we go. Yeah, everyone should be happy. Cool, wonderful. So everything really has to establish off of this road right here. So let's just bring this up as a general frame. And I know I want to use some of those new three lane one way bus roads that we got with the new update. So let's use this to position our terminal. So if we go from here, I'd ideally like, yeah, let's go for there then. That should be okay. And then let's go ahead and place in our terminal. So for this one, I think I'm going to use uh, the classic two-story terminal, which we can pretty much snap onto a 90-degree angle from that one. Which now gives me that orientation that I indeed am after. Cool. And then we'll trim up all these roads and we will design an entrance into the airport as well. Cool. So that's our terminal. And I think we will only have one terminal. Maybe even a second might be welcome. No, it's not. It's going to get too big. I need to keep this regional. <laughs> I want to make sure it stays somewhat sensibly sized at least. Okay, and then I do know eventually I also want that airport train station to come in. Which looks like would be a healthy possibility about it here, wouldn't it? So if we do prepare some of that terrain to eventually accept an internal or intercity train line. Uh, it could be internal one day. We'll have that run down there. And then again I want to have the 90 degree sort of snap point going. So we'll have this one run down there and then let's remove a section and then bring in an angle just to help change up that relentless wall of concourse, okay? That should be okay. So, you know, not a huge terminal space, pretty simple and small, just enough to hold our initial sort of infrastructure should be all right. So now let's turn to the exit roads for the terminal and sort of start to guess some sizes here because I think this can be quite a difficult thing to do with airports is to make them look sensible and scaled without them turning into basically the Isle of Sky Harbour. That was huge. <laughs> that was way too big. Um, so let's do a 10 curve here. Let's see how we well, let's try this on for size, right? Let's actually do some uh, slope in here as well first. So we'll do that 10 curve. That's 11. There we go. 10 and 10. And then I do want to now just slope this out a bit so it's not quite as severe. That should just help that road come back down a little bit further. So that's where a 10 curve would put us in terms of scale. Of course, the one above it is going to have to be a 12 curve. But now I'm seeing it, I think I do just want it maybe a touch longer. So I'll sort of show you my trial and error process. So that'll be 10. Let's go for 12. Cool. So that's just going to widen out that curve for us. Now with our terrain options here, we should be okay. Go ahead and make sure that this one has a nice smooth descent down. It should be really fun actually factoring in these different terrain layers into um, an airport entrance for the first time. And we'll see how this turns out. Are we even going to do some car parking out the front? I might even go for some overgrowth. I'm really not sure. I haven't really done a vanilla regional airport before. I guess we'll sort of see how the detailing develops. Yeah, and the same thing here again. Now we can actually use road guidelines to measure this one though. And then the same with the top one. So we want to go to about 14 here. And then we'll see. We'll mimic that around. You can also do the road guideline. If you want to again as well, and then you can also hit this one and then bring it down alongside. Although I think with this first 14 curve though, however, I would actually like to hopefully come down a single elevation point. So this does start descending back down again. Cool. That should do us. And then we can have this one 
Going a little further out. And then one more descent level again. And then hopefully, as it hits back down to earth, everyone's going to be happy with... And then we can hopefully feed that back in there just like that. Although I'm not a huge lover of the way that's developed. Yeah, I think to avoid that, what we will do is actually just run it parallel until we come back down to level ground. And then we'll hook it back in just to avoid that tearing. And there's a possibility for a repeated tree pattern in there, I guess, as well, if you wanted to. Um, why don't we have a look at some of the new content creator trees? Maybe the Lala Palms might be well here. Yeah, I, I don't hate that, you know. The infrastructure is fairly realistic here as well. I like this big swooping sort of, you know, parallel networks that are coming out of the terminal. That's going to be really fun. I'm happy with that, I reckon. Cool, fantastic. So, do we also want the bus here as well? Uh, there is an airport bus building, isn't there? Yeah, this one right here. Airport bus station. So, I'm keen to use this just because we're focusing so much on buses for getting people to and from the airport. So, let's have a little look at how this is going to work. So, again, we've got another terrain layer here to work with, which will factor in as well. Let's push things back a touch. So we're going to start sloping out some of this terrain here. I don't really want such harsh ridges, so we're going to have to start blending this in a little bit. But it should give us a pretty cool aesthetic, I think, come the end. So let's remove this road for right now. We'll worry about exactly how that comes into play. And I guess, actually, a roundabout there would actually do a pretty cool job for us, wouldn't it? And also allow us to enter into this facility here a little bit more cleanly. So why don't we attempt that right now. Let's turn on our three lane bus only road. We also want to hit a road guideline as well. And it kind of looks like a five curve roundabout is going to be perfect. Let's make sure we can mirror this all the way around. And indeed we can. So that helps us actually reintroduce this one way bus network back into the system, which will then bleed everyone else out, which is wonderful news. And then essentially with this bus road here now, what we want to do is uh, some fun with grids, which we'll have a look at in a second. So let's bring out that six lane bus road and we want to make sure that people have enough sort of room to exit here. Like there's enough space between the, what we're about to do and the roundabout is what I mean. Okay, so we'll have this here. And now let's begin to formulate our networks here too. So we'll allow the dirt road to take the layer, and then we'll slope out off the back of that once we know how everyone's going to sit in. Adjusting those terrain lines as we get higher up them is going to make it look a lot more organic on the end, I promise. Cool. So now we want to factor in what's going on with these bus roads. So I want to factor everything into um, a grid snapping, essentially. Okay, so the top bus lane here is going to be the one that runs up to the second terminal then the second bus lane will run from here and hopefully we can mimic this so that's a pretty much six curve is it yeah it is isn't it so we can have that run into there wonderful and now let's have a little look at this one right here also want to draw out this one a little bit first as well just so we get that road guideline coming in Let's come back down to earth and we want to see if we can just match those up so let's hopefully have it like that and then once we do have it uh, you will just get a much smoother gradient up to the top there i hope and then we'll bring that out and then break the curves that we've done and now that gives us our elevations it should just be a simple curve trip back in to smooth out those ramps which i think i'm happy with not too bad, is it? I think actually maybe we want to reverse engineer the ramp. So why don't we see if we can do that? Let's go on to essentially just the grid snappings here and leave them like that. Maybe that'll be a little more aesthetically pleasing, I think. Mm, no, being on the terrain layer is making things dramatically more difficult, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. Okay, screw it. We're just going to go road guideline and curve. I think I can live with that. Don't think it's the worst thing in the world. Uh, and then speaking of, you guys are also going to need to come back down and out. Um, for hopefully, uh, which will happen through here. Although we are going to need to pre-prepare that in advance. Egg, you idiot. That would have been helpful to do. 
So we'll have that feedback into the terminal. Is that still a horrendous gradient? I think we'll probably refine this in our D-turn time lapse. There's something off about it I'm not quite agreeing with, but we'll go for it for right now anyway. Cool. That's fine. And then I think with the, set, the third road, uh, we will also align with uh, our grid structure at the end of the six lane. And then, was that like a, a six curve? I think it was, wasn't it? We'll have that one go off there like that. And then we'll keep this in a one way loop as we come around to hook things in. And then hopefully if Vanilla City Skylines doesn't want to be a pain in the ass, it should just be a simple freeform tool and connect. And that will allow three different ways for people to enter both terminals and also get a lot of bus service out here as well. Cool. It's really nice to have these three lane bus only roads now as well, or the bus taxi ones, so we can actually extend the terminals out and maintain those decals. That's really helpful. Cool. But that gives us a really basic airport configuration, doesn't it? Keeps everyone moving. Should be good for traffic as well, which is important. Uh, and then let's now turn our attention to the front of the terminal, which can probably now be fully terraformed. Uh, back out to push up against the networks, which gives us opportunities for overgrowth detailing or rock walls if you wanted to. Uh, forest parks, car parks, whatever you want. You no, know, Google Earth is your friend when it comes to detail in these sorts of areas. So let's turn our attention towards some two-lane road with grass, and I'd now like to just to see if we can actually achieve the aesthetic of sort of perfect airport car parking. Now we have them in the vanilla game, uh, which I really hope we can, because <laughs> it's been a long time waiting for this. Let's give it a go. Let's go ahead and grab our large decorative parking lots. And can we just have these out the front? Is that going to be absolutely horrendous? Oh, that's the wrong one. I think I can get away with that, right? A couple of little batches of car parking here. We could definitely uh, double them up as well if we wanted to, to see how we, how we feel about that. And then maybe one more row um, behind them as well. So we can have them backed up. This might be too much car parking, <laughs> I feel. Oh, it is an airport. It is an airport, right? I guess if there's one place that should have a lot of car parking, um, it's this build of all of them. Cool, and then we can wrap everyone up. Maybe even have a multi-story in here as well if we want. I feel like multi-story maybe read, maybe... Hmm. Although I feel like a multi-story might be overkill for a regional airport. I'm not entirely sure. But it's not bad. It's giving us some infrastructure, isn't it? Let's go ahead now and get some planes landing at least. So we only start out with one aircraft stand available at the minute, which is the small aircraft stand. Although now seeing how my stands are going to be positioned against that, it's actually maybe a little close, but we'll... Probably not have this as our final configuration anyway. We really just want this to get people into the airport initially. Yeah, how are you going to hook in? You're not going to hook in happily here at all, are you? I mean, it's not a great marriage of runways and storage, is it? I guess in that case then, we could always just reconfigure this and bring it down. So we come into here. We could also bend off our terminal to hold more stands, which we might have a look at as well. Cool. And then we'll bring this up and hook it in. Now, really, this is kind of like a, a campus or an industries area in a way, is that the final configuration isn't what it's going to look like because we need to hit these values here. Uh, so we need passenger count, of course, that'll come over time as people land, but attractiveness score is something we have to address. So let's have a little look at what we can do to increase attractiveness. Uh, so we can place a couple of small hangers in. Uh, I don't really hate this idea, but again, it's not going to be anything majorly configured. I just need to get them down. Cool, let's have that one in as well. You also want, what, a small airport budget hotel? Okay, I think this is going to be the play then, isn't it? Let's just spam down a lot of attractiveness stuff. And then hopefully this will take us through numerous airport levels with a little bit of a speed up. What does that get us to? 260 and passenger count, active flights of three. Okay, what else do we unlock with those higher levels as well? Um, we also get the refueling station, luxury airport or hotel and the airline lounge, plus the medium aircraft stands. All right then, let's just let the game run with all this stuff in and then we'll be right back. All right, so we hit level two, but the next milestone is a thousand, <laughs> which is a lot. All right, that's a, a lot of things to do. 
So again, I think we're just going to cheese it because I do want the train line here. I think it'd be a shame not to have intercity trains pouring in at this point. And eventually also have the functionality for an internal train line too. So I think the highest attractiveness asset is the airport hotel or the luxury hotel. So I'm going to do something pretty illegal in terms of airport building in City Skylines. And that is to just... Spam these down. <laughs> please, please excuse this, everyone. We are just doing this to hit the attractiveness level. It should cost us a fortune, but it'd be worth it in the end. Guess it's a 700. <laughs> right. My dude, this is it. This was the build. Like, welcome to my favorite airport we've ever done, everyone. Right. So let's do this if we need to choose a level. It shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. There we go. All right, 5,000. <laughs> 5,000 passage account. All right. We can just sit and wait. <laughs> how bad that looks. <laughs> Imagine if I just left it like that. Goodness gracious, everyone. All right, so we'll do something else while that ticks over. It's going to take a little while. Um, so whilst that did come in at level two, we also got access to our new aircraft stands as well. Um, some medium aircraft stands, which are quite spicy, and we'll, of course, be able to hold or at least transfer uh, some more sims as well. So I think with those, we're going to have three uh, medium aircraft stands against our back of our bus terminal. And what I'm really looking to do here is to line up each green marker with the silhouette of the concrete that you can just see through the whiteness. That's sort of what I want to have happen to align them all up. Okay, so that's not too bad. We can possibly remove a hanger now and then start hooking into our existing taxiway network. Uh, which you do sometimes need to sort of re-delete. And again, I do want to bring angles into this, so I'm going to constantly just sort of rework exactly how my taxiways flow together. Um, so yeah, I don't want to delete that one. Actually, let's bring it out like that. And then flip it around, and then we'll delete this angle here. And then hopefully have this one. I'm off on a different angle. Okay, it's going to bring some different angles into the airfield, which will really help. All right, and then this one probably wants to come up to yeah, I imagine. And then we'll delete that part plane. And then that one can sit in there and complete our loop. And we'll have that angle reintroduced there as well. Cool. So I also think I want to try something again similar over here with this one now. It's a really awkward space to build an airport, but it should come to fruition eventually we hope. So I guess here would be a good point to actually move some of our uh, small hangars and parked planes. So we'll do that as well over here. Actually do we have a medium parked plane now? Should fall under our attractiveness value right? Yeah let's go for the medium one. A little bigger. We'll have that here. I don't think I'm going to be massively offended by that. It's a very close shave with the airport hangar though, isn't it? And then maybe we can do uh, another part plane opposite that one as well. Cool. So this should increase our attractiveness a little bit more. We can probably <laughs> delete some of those hotels now. And hopefully with those medium aircraft stands in, uh, we should pretty quickly rock it up to uh, 5,000 passengers. Yeah, but either way... At least we've got some more stands in now. Let's go ahead and just wait for this to tick over so we can actually configure how we want our airfield to look. And uh, enjoy some people parking outside the front here as well. Should we actually bring in a bus line as well before we uh, jump to level three? Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Uh, so there should be buses nearby here already. Yeah, there's an orange bus line flowing through this suburb. So let's bring him into the airport bus station. And he's going to come back out and then return his, this way, which goes down to the main bus hub over this way. So in that case, why don't we also bring it back into the airport as it passes by it again onto a separate stand, which should be okay. Just makes a little detour into the airport, which is fine. Could also do like an airport shuttle bus that comes through fields of gold in past the power plant. And then into Wing 4 Hills, because there's a lot of bus convergence here. I'll just have a little airport shuttle bus. I think we will do that. So we'll have a bus that starts here. 
and then we'll make it stop over by these guys. Let's also make it stop a little bit before that. Let's go for like right there. And then here, and then we'll bring it by the power plant for which people can stop by if they want to work there. Uh, there's no need to stop through this way and then come straight up alongside these buses. And because he's a bus, he can go down this route, can't he? Okay, that kind of works out nicely then. So then come and stop uh, here. And then you can mirror your journey back through the relatively quieter parts of town. And of course, we will eventually have 25 tiles, so this space will open up and give more justification for buses to pass through here and back into to the airport. But for right now, at least it does give us sort of three functioning bus lines that we can use to get people in here. Which hopefully we'll see some folk already choosing to use. We're getting a tiny bit of use at least. That's all I can really ask for. So, oh here we go, here's a batch of little people. Interesting, you're mostly choosing to walk out of the airport, are you? I don't really want that happening, to be honest. I think maybe an elevated walking pathway across the layer here is going to be best, isn't it? Yeah, and then what, you're just heading out, are you? Just walking back into to... to well, the bus stops here. How is this bus line doing now? 108 at one of its stops here. Uh, there's still some pretty empty vehicles though. You should be alright for the most part, I think. Uh, we could also do either doing some fresh lane maths on this roundabout here too. I don't think we even had the three lane road, did we, when we built this roundabout? So we'll go for three lanes here. That should just help everyone move a little smoother. Love how my buses aren't using the bus lanes. <laughs> that was really helpful. Oh, see, he did though. Oh, because he's going the other way, isn't he? That's why. That's why. Cool though, let's see them come in. They're going to stay in this bus lane all the way through. Fantastic, and then into the stop. Cool, I'm pretty happy with the design and the functionality here. Definitely wants an elevated walking bridge here. Uh, but we'll do that anyway when we come back and um, we need to wait for this to hit level three and then we can actually configure all of these luxury hotels <laughs> into something a little nicer so we'll be right back and great success everyone so that gives us uh, some of the top level stuff which is good i think we're going to save the airline headquarters building and aviation museum sort of and the cargo stuff for um new uh, orchid bays sort of main international facility, which I'm thinking at the minute is going to lie on this island. Um, I think this would be a really fun space to configure an airport in, so we'll wait for that one day. But, yeah, that's what we'll save that stuff for. Right, so let's get rid of all these. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Wonderful. So, although I don't plan to have any uh, plane stands on this side of the runway, I still do want a little bit of taxiway um, in order to help with just placing some assets down so same rule applies we come out at the end and back in at the bottom and then nothing major here let's go ahead and grab our aviation fuel station and a large hangar with a parked plane somewhere in between maybe a large boy ready to be refueled and sight lines are really cool from an airport just because of the nature of the build so I want to make sure that we can definitely tell it's an airport from here as well. Which those refueling tanks and hangars certainly go a long way, don't they? Wonderful. Oh, I love that. That's a great sight line, isn't it? <laughs> That's really cool. Definitely love respecting that tunnel at the bottom there. Very happy with that. I guess it could be an idea actually now, you know, to hook this tunnel. I mean, it wouldn't really make sense because they have the connection here anyway, but... Yeah, I think we'll probably bring it out this side of the other airfield. Maybe down into another highway connection over here eventually. Or into this one. Too much choice. <laughs> I really don't know what this side of Orchid Bay looks like yet compared to the rest of it. We'll, we'll get there eventually. Cool. So now we've got that configured, let's return to just sorting out some of this stuff here. So I'm not particularly happy with the way this is looking. Now things are flowing around and we've got to level 3. So let's analyse the possibility of actually having in... Um, one of those airport train stations. So let's use some of our classic concourse. 
And then I'd ideally like to have it... I kind of need to remove all the road guidelines. It's this one here I want to follow. Yeah, and then let's have it come out from there. And then that will hook back into that way. Wonderful. And then this now allows me to hopefully maintain my nice even taxiway systems that I'm a fan of. I mean, really, so is... Can you just not make that connection for me? <laughs> Does it make that much of a difference? There we go. There we go. It's not quite perfectly level, is it? But I think we can probably get away with it. I'll see if we keep redrawing that. Can we get it basically as close as we want? No, you'll give me too small, won't you? I guess that's a slightly better alternative. Right. There's node controller when you need it. I think we'll have a couple more plane stands in this space, which hopefully won't affect us too much. And then actually remove this connection here, which should hopefully straighten things out a little bit. I don't think I hate that for right now anyway. And then I think I'll move some of these smaller hangars a little further down the way. Let's have them plop next to each other. And we'll go for a different type of part plane there, because they are actually the same. And then rather than sending the medium or the small planes back through the whole taxiway system and get clogged in with the medium planes, I think we'll have a line come off this way, okay? And then that will siphon them out over there. You're going to be too small for a part plane, I guess, over here. Yes, you are. How annoying. <laughs> How annoying. It'd be really nice if we had some sort of like ploppable air court concrete. That would just be such a good thing to add. Maybe one day. We're getting a lot of free updates these days, aren't we? Cool. But well, I think it's general airfield area. Um, I know something... Big tip I always pick up from Imperator with these airport areas is... Um, using vanilla pathway to just... Help sketch out some more airport lines. Because they kind of look a little bit... Bland in vanilla, especially. Just extending them out with... Some vanilla pathway can help... Bring that vibe in. So we'll just sort of do a few straight lines of it. Give some nice lights to the middle of the airfield that doesn't have runways and stuff on it. And then we'll bring this one down as well. And then we'll even draw that across to continue it to place over this way, although no road length would help. And then same again up this way. Finish off the other side. And possibly something similar along here as well. We can probably hit a guideline there, can we? Yes, when we need to at least. We'll have something that looks a little bit like that. Eventually. Okay. It's a bit more texture to the airfield, doesn't it? Cool. Well, that's not too bad, I don't think, for... Initial airfield concepts, maybe a few more part planes needed during our detail and time lapse, and also a big healthy dose of airport fence will really help this area uh, blend in as well. Uh, last thing we want to do before we look at that major detail in time lapse today is to actually bring in uh, the train station. Uh, so hopefully we can have. I guess we could. I mean, we'll definitely expand the train infrastructure over here once this tar boundary opens up. But it might be cool to have in passenger train coming through this way. I think it'd be a missed opportunity. Yeah, because we're going to have all this open up, so it's definitely worth doing, I think, isn't it? I think it definitely is. Okay, and of course, let's try and not annoy the train gang today with some nasty rail networks. We'll try and do this sensibly. So let's terraform that out so we have a little bit more breathing room. And then we want to, I guess, just slope up from here to make that somewhat sensible. I hope. We'll find out anyway. I just wonder, if we remove this, does it have to be... Yes, it does, doesn't it? I was thinking if we maybe try and move it, but it's not going to play far. But I guess now, if we're not actually doing that with our concourses anymore, my original structure with that doesn't really make sense anymore. And it probably allows us to better position the train station to come into the airport. So we want it as close to those 
exit ramps as possible. I think it was a pretty nice drive by as well. Oh, I don't like the fact that these don't have a road connection because they kind of have doors outside them as well, which makes no sense. Um, but we do have a road connection down here, so I might end up bringing one up for that. I guess we'll just wait and see. And then hopefully with that little connection there, the train gang should remain pacified. I guess we'll wait and see. Uh, and then I'm also keen to run a passenger line between here and now as well. Even though this is internal, again, the rail network will expand. But just for the sake of today's episode, I would like to see a functioning passenger train back in two to help people get from the airport to elsewhere. So we'll see how it goes anyway. And let's also change the train model since we now have... Oh, Airport Express train. It has to be that, right? It has to be. <laughs> Perfect. Wonderful news. So now we'll have the airport decal on our train as well. Fabulous. And that should head us across the networks. Cool. So that'll give us a very cool set there, won't it? It might have gone slightly out of the qualification of regional airport, I think, with the addition of trains, but... It's still a really cool facility, minus the um, hotel spam <laughs> there, of course. Which I think we will dedicate a little area here to a small hotel. Kind of successful, and feels like a fun place for a detailing time lapse, actually. So we're going to do a lot of road network detailing, bushes and trees to help kind of introduce the airport facility. Got lots of stuff around here as well, and hopefully just keep our eye on these buses whilst also changing this model here to the... Airport bus. Where are you? There is an airport bus, isn't there? There we go, yeah. Let's go for the double-decker airport bus. And we'll also turn it black as well. Cool. So hopefully we'll see that come on theme a little bit more. Uh, I want to introduce that elevated walking pathway as well, just because we were getting uh, quite a lot of people choosing to walk back out of the roads. We'd rather have them not on the road network itself. Uh, how's the train doing? Anyone on it? Not just yet, but maybe one day. Uh, but either way, lots of fencing, uh, terrain fixing, and just help blend today's transport facility into the area. So we'll detail it up, and then we'll be right back.
Alright guys, let's have a little detailing review, shall we? So up our entrance we have brought down the elevated pathway that we talked about which is now giving a much more walkability to the airport and stopping people from walking on the main roads. Not that the traffic really needs it anyway, it's super clear and really nice as well from this angle. That's the first time I've caught that. <laughs> really cute. Uh, up and around our roundabout here. We've added in some of the plazas fountains and a little pattern with a palm in the middle. And then here just included some kind of outer line suburban industry. I wanted a couple of taxi depots and recycling centre. Then also included some commercial and office spacing along this road alongside a football field which gives much more purpose towards uh, this little underpass right here that goes under the rail and then emerges back out this side which is super cool. And just some, yeah, some kind of like grotty outer line sort of commercial and office is what I wanted here. There's another little hotel, uh, a warehouse down here as well and then a secondary entrance into the airport with more car parking, a bit of a pathway design and then just brought that road up and outside the back of the train station. It's really weird to me that it doesn't have a connection here for some reason, even though there's doors on it, but you can pretend, right? So we now have purpose to our airport train station, which you would have seen in the D-turn time lapse is super busy. As we see here now, lots of people choosing to get back into Central Orchid Bay via train, and then the buses are pretty cool as well. And then this road actually comes under the bridge and hooks back in with the one-way airport rings, which you can see uh, the bus now takes its way uh, back out of here as well, which is cool. Then we have our uh, hotel area where we've got some parking at the front and also one of the Korea police stations and some really nice rock work and sort of art, I guess, as you leave the one-way loop in the airport. Uh, just some simple rock lines with long grass and uh, some horse chestnuts, a bit of jacaranda. Some slightly more interesting shapes to help draw the eye. And the same around here again, just fill it with greenery. Just so it gives us that kind of maybe public artwork. The airport has perhaps grown a little bigger than regional. It's kind of a little bigger than what I had in mind, but I'm really happy with the way the front of the facility has developed. It's, uh, it's really nice. And then we've also got our bus station tucked in the corner, which is getting 88 people a week. Uh, there are a few uh, select people using the buses here, which is nice. And then they all feed... Uh, back into their appropriate lane where we see taxis coming up here now as well, which is great People coming in. So I just love the front of the airport. It's given us a really nice frontage uh, Kind of important infrastructure with those bus lanes getting use as well And it's nice to see lots of buses coming and going uh, from the facility as a whole and train lines are not backing up at all with the addition uh, Of that airport express line now running alongside the cargo and then wanted to create like a little bit of wasteland here as well. Like it's kind of overgrown and just left to sort of undergrow underneath all this infrastructure that obviously wouldn't be landscaped. And I think it's kind of turned out really nicely, you know, kind of a little bit of a grotty, slightly grimy commercial area near the edge of the airport is what we're going for here. Then we've got lots of overgrowth between our rail lines as they split off and one carries on with cargo. And then this one obviously serves our passenger line with a simple overgrowth pallet. Uh, beneath our tunnel, which doesn't go anywhere currently. Of course, we don't really have anywhere to send it, uh, but one day we will, when we pop 25 tiles, we will be able to serve a purpose uh, with this road and also switched it to a five-lane asymmetric at the end, so we do get a little bit of turning lane spices as we approach one of the main junctions on the cycleway. And then a little further down the cycleway, we now have this little meandering road that comes up and into the airport facility with a little bit of overgrowth where it shouldn't be. Uh, and then included one of the new disaster response units, the Chunky Fire Helicopter Number, uh, which gives us just that real sense of facility within the airfield itself alongside the refueling station, uh, the hangar, the park planes. So really happy to have that within the airport. And then also narrowed the fence around the road so it kind of looks a little bit more secure. I guess you know this obviously isn't open for public access. And then lots of those pathways around the airfield with some wild hedging just to try and give a little more purpose to those concrete ridges. It's one of my biggest criticisms about the airport DLC is that they didn't give us proppable concrete because there's so much concrete on an airfield um, and you'd very often left with weird looking spaces like this um, when there would never be grass here, this close to the terminal, right? This is concrete, this is where all the little luggage vehicles are stored. There's, there's never just grass here. <laughs> so maybe we will get proppable concrete one day, I hope, I hope so. But until that day, um, vanilla pathways will have to do just to help complete that look. And you can just see how it takes effect around the airfield. It's mainly just for the nighttime aesthetic too, you know. You can just sort of see all those little ridges and sort of lines docking about, which gives much more purpose to it. 
Then part planes, hangars, etc. was to help decorate our airfield also chucked in at the air control tower as well. And yes, I did forget to move the wind turbines for those people wondering in the comments. <laughs> they are a little too close toward uh, the actual runway itself, so we will relocate them a little further over there now, I think. Which gives us a nice clear view down, right? This is a sight line we want at the start, right? It's absolutely wonderful. Really happy with how the uh, airport facility has developed. But otherwise, guys, that is going to do it for today. Let's thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, likes, comments, and shares below really help me out. You can watch if you haven't enjoyed it. Please feel free to leave a dislike as well. Super happy with this build. It's turned into a slightly bigger complex than I had initially planned. But we are still playing with a six-stand single terminal uh, sort of configuration here. And it's worked out really nicely. Uh, really happy with it. Lots of fun details that we had in here as well. And of course, the inclusion of some simple suburban industry like taxis, ranks and recycling centres. All help detail the outskirts. And nice little layers as well with the bridges coming down. Please enjoy some cinematics. And thank you again for praying with my um, increasingly hoarse voice throughout the episode, I'm sure, today. <laughs> we have managed to get through it, thankfully. Please do enjoy some cinematics, but I will shut up and leave it there. Let's thank you all so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.